Hey guys, my name is Trevor, and this is Audi. We're going to be replacing, well, not replacing, but putting the weather stripping back on today for under the windshield tray. The adhesive has come off over the time, and so it started flapping in the wind. And so we're going to be doing this on our 1997 Chevy Corvette. And this is the little weather stripping we're talking about. It started coming off over here and it was just flapping in the wind so I decided to go ahead and take it off and today we're going to go ahead and show you how to replace it put it back on so what you'll need some a couple tools here just socket wrench with half on there we choose, and then a, we choose a pick for the some needle nose pliers. What else do we got over here? We have some double sided stick tape. I'm going to show them the double sided stick tape. That's what we're going to be using to put it back on. And then we have some glass cleaner and just some soapy water to clean all the rest of the residue off of the off that weather stripping. So we're going to, because we want to make sure that this is all cleaned off back here like this here I can show you real quick we'll make sure you get all of that off of there so that when we put that other that new double sided stick tape on there it sticks real good and it won't come off but first we need to get all of that stuff taken out of there so to do that we're going to get our pick and our needle nose pliers whichever may be easier I'm thinking the pick will be easier at first and so what we're going to do is we're going to take this cap off and then there's a half size nut under there then I on both two, of them then I done two inches yes and we're going to unbolt it and then you have to get these little tabs out there's one here on the driver's side another one should have a middle one mine's missing and there's two more on the passenger side and so we'll get we'll get those in there out of there too so let's go ahead and get this little cap off first <gasps> or just scratch it yeah not not too tough to get that off so it reveals a nice rusty nut for us and all these gonna get the wrench on there oh hold on you gotta turn this so it's going to get looser nope nope you gotta break it loose that's really hard to do one handed camera down for a second. Now is just pull our wiper blade up and take our little wash bit, twist it a little bit and then it should pop off of there like so. Now just gotta take this and wiggle it. Yep, it should. Okay, here, you wanna hold the camera? Yes. Okay. Make sure it's pointing down here and don't put your hands in the front of the camera. Yo, Daddy. Oh, it pop off. It should be. Yep. Oh, oh. There we go. That's not the too far dirty. That's yeah, alright. My face. Now we'll set it aside. Alright, so there's one off. Yep, it got it all dirty. Don't wipe it off. Don't do that. Scoot back, please. Now, we'll take our needle nose pliers. And we'll just use those to pull up on these a little bit. Yeah. All 
There we go, just kind of rock it back and forth. I guess the pick might work on for this too, but find it a little easier using the needle nose, grab both sides. Got all those out. We can go ahead and work on this one, chilled wiper. So, do you want to go get the pick real quick? There we go. All right, so now we should be able to pull. She's tough. Yeah, the top. Watch your fingers. It's just gonna come on off and out of there. There's one side. Put it back over here. Oh, this is awesome. There we go. Now, the bottom of this is still connected for your washer fluid. Whoa, this and is so, awesome. Yeah, that thing probably hasn't been off in a long time. So now, we're gonna take our rag and our washer fluid and go along this whole edge of the windshield all the way down make sure it's nice and clean and then we'll do we'll make sure that this little clip here is nice and clean so that when it gets re put on there we'll, everything will line up and be good to go whoops i looked at the wrong side i got it all flipped upside down confused so it's actually this side that'll be on there. And mine's cracked right there as you can see. But that's all right. We'll just put it back on and put it together. So let's get there. All right, so this is how we're getting it done. We're just cutting little sections of our double side sticky tape and we'll do it all the way along it. And when we get that done. I can show you. So you also need a pair of scissors. It'll help. Now that we've got our double side stick tape all the way across there, you can see we're going to go ahead and peel off the other side and then flip it back over, put it on the windshield and get everything bolted back down.
All right, now that we've got our little pins put back in and we got the clips behind here set in, it's all nice and sturdy again. We got the other pin in, the missing one, the two, got the wipers back on, got the washer fluid connected back up. Now it's time to just put the nuts back in and tighten everything up and then we're done. So go ahead and do that real quick. Get that knocked out. Alright, well now we're done. We've got everything put back together and it's all looking pretty good now. I'm I'm really hooked, really glad with how it turned out. This has popped up a little bit, but it's not coming up. And so we've got that fixed all the way across. Now hopefully when we're doing some highway driving, we won't have any issues. But if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and if you haven't already, please click the red subscribe button. I will catch you in the next video. Have a great night.